After six months, it was time to go home. I remember Dad pushing me outside in my wheelchair, wrapped in a plaster body cast, and feeling the sun on my face for the first time. I soaked it up and I thought, how could I ever have taken this for granted? I felt so incredibly grateful for my life. But before I left hospital, the head nurse had said to me, Janine, I want you to be ready because when you get home, something's going to happen. And I said, what? And she said, you're going to get depressed. And I said, not me, not Janine the machine, which was my nickname. She said, you are, because see, it happens to everyone in the spinal ward. That's normal. You're in a wheelchair. That's normal. But you're going to get home and realize how different life is. And I got home and something happened. I realized Sister Sam was right. I did get depressed. I was in my wheelchair. I had no feeling from the waist down, attached to a catheter bottle. I couldn't walk. I'd lost so much weight in hospital, I now weighed about 80 pounds. And I wanted to give up. All I wanted to do was put my running shoes on and run out the door. I wanted my old life back, I wanted my body back. And I can remember mum sitting on the end of my bed and saying, I wonder if life will ever be good again. And I thought, how could it? Because I've lost everything that I valued, everything that I'd worked towards, gone. And the question I asked was, why me? Why me? And then I remembered my friends that were still in the spinal ward, particularly Maria. Maria was in a car accident and she woke up on her 16th birthday to the news that she was a complete quadriplegic, had no movement from the neck down, had damage to her vocal cords and she couldn't talk. They told me, we're going to move you next to her because you think it will be good for her. I was worried. I didn't know how I'd react being next to her. I knew it would be challenging, but it was actually a blessing because Maria always smiled. She was always happy. And even when she began to talk again, albeit difficult to understand, she never complained, not once. And I wondered how had she ever found that level of acceptance? And I realized that this wasn't just my life, it was life itself. I realized that this wasn't just my pain, it was everybody's pain. And then I knew, just like before, that I had a choice. I could keep fighting this, or I could let go and accept not only my body, but the circumstances of my life.